Hey guys, Adam with 541 Fish Keepers here. Uh, I was just going to give you guys a <coughs> quick update video on one of my newer tanks. It is a 25 gallon planted black convict cichlid tank. And I think I've had it up and running for about two months now. Uh, all of these little guys were cloned off of that one over there. So that's kind of cool. And then uh, what else is kind of cool is that three pairs of these guys have already started to uh, breed and lay eggs. This pair here laid some eggs, I think last night or a couple days ago. It's hard to see, but they're just wriggling down there under that leaf. You can see those little guys just kind of wriggling around. They, they can't swim yet. They just kind of lay there and wiggle around kind of funny looking but they make sure that it is guarded no one messes with it and then over here there's another pair and this female is really tiny in fact I think this is probably her first time trying to actually uh, have a spawn of fry so she's not doing so well but uh she had some little wrigglers and a couple little swimmers down there the other day. Uh, it looks like there's still a couple in there. But uh, I think also she might be stealing some from the neighbors over here. And uh, taking them and putting them in her nest. Which, I mean, I guess she's taking care of them. But then these guys over here have a whole bunch of little little swimmer fry down here oh they just got into a tussle maybe not they probably are retreated back into the pot oh there's still a couple swimming around in here yeah there's still some guys cruising around they all just kinda retreated but yeah during the day they hang out over here in this corner and uh the parents kind of watch them and they just cruise around. And these guys are probably, uh, I don't know, maybe a week or two old. Could be wrong, might be less than that. But they live inside of that gray pot over there. And uh, during the night, they all go inside. And the parents keep track of them and make sure they're not going missing. And I'm sure they're not perfect, but they've still got quite a few going, which is pretty cool. But I think that this female here will probably be a better parent because she had already had three confirmed batches that did pretty successful. In fact, a lot of the other fish in this tank are actually some of her offspring so she is definitely uh, proven to be a good caretaker and it looks like she's got quite a few little fry down there so we'll see how things pan out I uh, will keep you guys posted and a uh, couple more things I just wanted to show you guys how simple it is I mean I'll, these are the three chemicals I pretty much use on this tank I use prime I just put a little bit when I do water changes, like really little bit. I use the Flourish Excel for the plants in the tank. And I use this pH regulator here. And it puts the pH to right about uh, 7.2 to 7.8. And it seems like these fish are completely cool with that pH because they are spawning like crazy so that's really the only three you have to put in and uh, for a filter back here I've actually got a planted filter and uh, it's just a cheapo like ten dollar filter that I put this plant in and it is honestly working very very well and you would not believe how well the water parameters stay maintained with having that have a tiny little bubble filter back there 
And I also have a top fin 10 there behind this hornwort plant. Which, by the way, these things grow like crazy. They're pretty cool. Really easy to take care of. And, uh, yeah, other than that, I guess we will see how things look in a couple weeks. See if any of these little guys mature. I'm pretty much just going to let them do their own thing. I don't think I'm going to interfere in any way. I'll just see how it works out for them. And if in the future I need to make any changes, I guess I will uh, go about it then. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you want some more, go ahead and click the subscribe button and we will uh, keep you guys posted on what is going on. Thanks for watching.